are at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. And uh, you might remember I was here some time ago, this was about two years ago, when they first began the construction, uh, the renovation, I should say, of, uh, of the resort. And I did a full walkthrough. Uh, this was literally a day before they began construction on the Great Ceremonial House. And I'm here again today, nearly two years later, after the inside renovation is fully complete, they're still doing some construction outside. But as, uh, and as you can see here, we've got some temporary guardrails up. But we're gonna run through the, uh, the entire lobby area and, uh, and we're gonna give you an idea of what's changed, how things look now, and we'll compare it side by side on, uh, on how things looked nearly two years ago. They essentially removed that entire big island that, uh, that encompassed uh, almost the entire lobby area. And, um, and I have to say, I, uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I, I really don't mind it, I kind of like it. And uh, you know, I'm glad that they didn't mess with this water area because I always thought that you know this was so nice. But what bummed me out is there's a little drum that me and my daughter used to hit every time we would walk in. Right there, the drum is gone. The drum is gone. But the resort here in full, uh, full beauty, I have to say, I really do like it. There's so much more light in the lobby as you walk in. So we'll, um, we'll make the entrance here to the classic Polynesian Resort. It's now called the Polynesian Village Resort. And, um, and yeah, we're going to uh, just kind of adjust our levels here so we get a nice level. But this is, um, this is the inner lobby. And before we look at the main centerpiece, we'll just take a look at the check-in area. So this has definitely changed a little bit, but not really, uh, you know, not really anything drastic. Uh, the biggest change um, in this whole resort lobby area to the Great Ceremonial House was um, was really in the center area. You still got um, Bell Services is still right here. You've still got um, Boutique. The um, Polynesian's uh, gift shop is still there. But if you remember before, it was this entire area here that had a huge island, essentially the perimeter of these two couches, the red couches on the left and on the right, uh, were filled with a massive island. And that island uh, had a waterfall and it was a huge water feature and it was replaced um, by this new, uh, interestingly, um, really uh, uh, lovely water feature. Uh, a lot smaller, obviously, but uh, I really think they did a good job. I love the light in here more than anything. Uh, I think that's what's, uh, what's, what's really, what stands out more than anything. And, and the seating area is really nice too. I mean, they really did a good job uh, with this new seating area. Uh, I'm, I'm really digging how they did that. Uh, and essentially the seating, you know, there really wasn't a lot of seating in this lobby uh, before the renovation. Uh, you know, it was, uh, it was really just seating around the perimeter of the island uh, and a few, a few areas, um, uh, you know, here and there. But for the most part, they've really added quite a bit of seating here. And as you can see, it's extremely, extremely spacious. Uh, it really is. And uh, you know, you've got these uh, these kind of little, um, they almost look like little cocktail tables. But you know, the bar is upstairs, so I wouldn't quite call them a cocktail table. But uh, you know, really nice though. They they did a terrific job, I think. And the colors are great. Everything pops really nice. Uh, such a designer term. Everything pops. Disney loves it when it pops. Um, but yeah, this is um, this is the new Great Ceremonial House lobby, and uh, you know, again, I think they did a great job uh, with the lobby here. This whole center area 
that we're walking through here uh, was, was, I would not be able to walk where I'm walking right now uh, if it wasn't for uh, the, you know, them tearing that island out. And I, and I was bummed out. I, I mean, I think a lot of big Disney fans and a lot of um, fans of, uh, of the Polynesian Resort, you know, had mixed emotions about uh, what it was gonna be like. Was it going to uh, look empty? And it, it, it does look a little empty, but I mean, uh, as you can see, just the lighting, and we'll take a quick shot of that um, up here. And you can see, that looks pretty darn nice. I mean, especially even from the top floor, you see that it's a, it's a real nice uh, addition. See here they've still got some uh, some more seating here uh, you know again one of the big things that they added was the seating uh, these uh, well cocktail tables right they sure do look like cocktail tables you can just picture hanging out there with a friend having a drink uh, but there's more of that upstairs we'll take a quick look inside of the uh, of the boutique gift shop and um, and I think you'll see that uh, the gift shop really hasn't changed much, um, though some of the merchandise that they have here uh, is a little bit different. They've actually lowered the prices or gotten some more moderately level prices on some of their Hawaiian style shirts uh, before they would have, you know, just Tommy Bahama stuff, which uh, this is a Tommy Bahama. It's probably at least over a hundred bucks. Um, But as you come here, you know, they've got stuff like this, which is about 40. And, um, you know, stuff like this, which is 40-something uh, bucks. You know, so now you can get a, a, a nice looking, not a gaudy looking Hawaiian shirt. You don't have to drop over 100 bucks, which I think is really nice. Because um, they do have some nice stuff. But back into the lobby, we will um, we will head outside and take a quick look. All right, so we're gonna head outside and uh, let's see what we're dealing with here. This entire area used to be that water feature, um, which unfortunately, that's gone. I kind of miss that. Uh, that was a nice water feature, but as you can see, it's all opened up. Uh, it's all opened up. They've got this uh, new jogging path, uh, which is uh, illustrated on the other side, but it pr pretty much goes all around from the Polynesian to the, uh, to the Grand Floridian. I think it loops. But, um, you know, looking at this whole area, you can see it's all pretty much opened up. It's all pretty much opened up. Um, you know, and again, no more water feature. Uh, and they did that, I think, purposely so that, um, you know, this area would, uh, would just kind of feel more open. I'm not sure what they're going to be putting in this grass area here, but uh, you've still got Captain Cook's quick serve here. God, there's so many different things. You've got this um, Trader Sam's Grog Grotto on the other side, which we'll check out there in just a couple of minutes. But the outdoor seating area here at Captain uh, Cook's, uh, you know, it looks like they've got some new furniture. Really nice. I mean, I have to say, they really did a good job at... Um, at kind of, uh, you know, giving this place a facelift. Not that it desperately needed a facelift. I mean, I think people would have been happy just the same way it was uh, before, but, you know, I mean, take a look at this here now. Um, you know, we've got this, now this new kind of uh, water feature 
Uh, it's uh, almost like a little mini water park that they've uh, that they've included here. Uh, pretty nice. I mean, all this I'm not even sure, I don't even remember what was here before, but um, you know the water park here for the kids is great. Uh, it just gives them another option. The um, the fence is something new. Uh, this is something that uh, that they put in. Uh, and I guess it's because, you know, people would kind of pool crash the area. And uh, I don't think they've got the system, the electronic system working yet. So we'll just make our way through and uh, take a big poke around and see what's going on. One of the biggest additions is this outdoor kind of seating area. You know, where you can kind of sun yourself. They didn't have that before. They had these little cabanas that you could kind of check in and check out of. They were pretty expensive. I, I don't, I'm guessing that not a lot of people use them. But here, another angle of the, of the water park. Really fun for the keikis. That's kids in Hawaiian. The keikis. And uh, really fun. I mean, I'll tell you, if I was a little kid, I mean, even, <laughs> even as, a, as an adult, I'd like to romp around in there. I bet it would be fun. Well, I might get yelled at. No, we definitely not romp around in there. And, um, you know, coming outside here, uh, you've got the, uh, the new volcano pool. It's a little bit different. They did change the volcano feature uh, on this pool. Um, the I think they re-sculpted it to look more like a volcano, though, to be perfectly honest. I don't really, um, didn't really see any difference other than the red lava flow. It might look a little bit different, but nothing drastic. Um, but as you can see, kind of cool. And this is kind of where you go down the slide right at the top over here. Uh, you got folks waiting up there now. You've got an attendant up there now. And uh, the attendant gives you the go when you can actually head down the slide. One of my favorite things to do is hang out right under that waterfall. It's like getting the best massage of your life, really. Good stuff. Um, and then again, over here, more kind of uh, seating for the, um, you know, for the sunbathers. So they definitely gave us a little bit more uh, options here uh, within the pool area. I, I like it a lot. Uh, I really do. I think they did a terrific job. Um, it's just more resort-esque. I guess you can call it. And, um, and then of course one of the biggest additions, uh, oddly enough this resort never had a hot tub. Uh, you know the Grand Floridian had a hot tub and the some of the other uh, resorts, uh, deluxe resorts anyway, had a hot tub. So here is the new hot tub area. I don't want to hone on them too much, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like. And uh, we'll make our way over here to Bay Lake. Seven Seas Lagoon, the classic. And uh, you can get the uh, kind of the full down and dirty of uh, Polynesian Beach, though this fence, I think, kind of kills, you know, that seamless feeling that you're going from the pool to the beach, but still, uh, looking pretty good. Here's your boat launch, you got some folks on there heading, heading over to the Magic Kingdom for a terrific night. I've got uh, actually dinner tonight at uh, Be Our Guest Restaurant, so pretty excited about that I have not yet been to be our guest so we'll see the uh, rumor is you can get a beer 
uh, at the uh, Be Our Guest restaurant, which you couldn't do before. Uh, no alcohol in Magic Kingdom, but I guess Disney, uh, you know, they smell the money. How can you not? Great opportunity. Um, so, and just a quick shot of some of these bungalows, the Bora Bora bungalows, as they call them. I think on a good night, on a good night, these little puppies are, uh, you know, upward of two, three thousand dollars a night. I think in the value season, you might be able to get them for a little bit less than that, but maybe a thousand dollars a night during the value if you're lucky. But come on, you could go to Bora Bora for a hell of a lot cheaper than that. Um, plus, you're going to hear those boats on the lake in the morning and at night blowing their horns. And that is definitely not something that I'd want to hear for $2,000 a night. Um, so yeah, a lot, of, a lot of changes here at the Polynesian. A lot of changes. Our little DJ, rocking the pool party. This one's Way. called Something There. Gotta love uh, Disney just to keep it keeping it fun for the kids. The Barefoot Pool Bar. Great place to grab a drink. Although I have to tell you, I rarely come out here for a drink. Four o'clock, you'll find me upstairs at the Tambu Lounge. Um, they see me coming and they start making my margarita. They know exactly what I'm looking for. Which isn't, isn't that what a good bartender does? He knows exactly what you're looking for. Um, yeah, so out here to the marina. Uh, and again, I'm not going to go all the way onto the other side, but uh, you can see that they now have called this the Seven Seas Marina. They've got this whole separate marina building. Uh, it, it really is like a whole different area. I mean, it still looks uh, familiar, uh, familiar, did I say that right? Familiar? Everything still looks kind of familiar, but it's got like these minor touches that just add to it. As we, um, as we go up the stairs here, we're heading in, not quite heading in yet, to, um, to the inside section. I want to show you that outdoor terrace which is, um, it's the outdoor seating area for this um, Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. And it's kind of nice. I mean, I was here late last night at the, getting something to eat at Captain Cook's. And, um, and you can see the people out here partying, having a nice time. And they've got this, uh, you know, it's like an outdoor kind of bar area that they close up during the day. Oddly, there's no access out here to the indoor section, uh, the indoor portion. It's one or the other. So you're either out here or you're inside, and it's not like you can go from outside to inside without physically going through uh, this little causeway here and um, and as you can see here now that we're inside very inconspicuous very inconspicuous in fact at first when I when I was in here I I, I wasn't even sure what this was if it was even open Oh, I got gotcha. you. I got you guys. Say hello. Oh, hello. Are we on video? Uh, right yeah, now? yeah. I'm just doing a, a little, a little walkthrough of. I did a walkthrough in the Polynesian the day before they began the. There's a video camera. Anyway, Bye. have a good one. See you later. I guess she didn't want to be on video. Can I? Can you blame her? Um, okay, so. Yeah. Okay. Walking back through, this is the Captain Cook's. This is the quick serve. 
and um, be nice. They did away with the uh, with the touch screens, touch screen ordering, and they also did away with the Dole Whip self serve, which I thought was kind of odd. Um, excuse me, but oh, look what we got here. Little duckies! Must be springtime! Must be springtime! Look at, they're not even scared. That's the great thing about being at a Disney resort. These ducks are so used to people. They don't even have a sense of danger whatsoever. They're just doing their thing. But for sure, um, for sure, one of the highlights, one of the highlights is that they put in a completely new concession for, yes, you guessed it, Dole Whip. It's the Pineapple Lanai. That's right. You got fresh Dole Whip here to your heart's content. And I came in here the other night and they were open pretty late. It was like almost 12 o'clock. They were still open. I was a little worried because, you know, you come into to Captain Cook's um, and, uh, you know, you could always get Dole Whip whenever you want. But uh, having, yeah, having, uh, you know, having that gone from the, from the uh, self-serve was kind of a bummer. But the fact that they added its own, very own concession is cool. Uh, princess. All right. And if you remember here, this was where they, when we, they were doing the construction, this is where they put the, the temporary Captain Cooks. Um, and now, whoops. Hey. What is this, your guys' break room? Excuse me. Now it's back to the break room. And that's about it, kids. A new snapshot of the new Polynesian Village Resort here at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Aloha! Aloha.